Hey guys, um, I'm not gonna do much of an intro or an explanation as to how this came to be a thing. I'll explain it as we go because that's gonna be more fun for everybody. And after you see this video, you're gonna be wanting as many happy memories in your head as possible. So grab the booze and lock up the loaded firearms because this one is gonna be just, just the worst. I'll give you the Reader's Digest version, okay? So this chick guy thing made this video called um, Commentary, in, pr in parentheses. Right. Addressing PC haters. Rags! I assume I assume you should say that with, you know, like, a, with umph because it's in all capital letters. This makes reading Next Gen 720 comments extremely difficult and tough on the vocal cords. No, I didn't edit out the subscriber count. It stuff's hidden. You can't see it, so I don't... I don't know. So let's uh, go ahead and pick this apart and see what we can learn. Let's start with the description. This guy comes out of nowhere. Yeah, because that's what I do. Just came out of nowhere. Rags on the scene. Who is this guy? Where is he from? Who knows? It's mysterious. Taking the gaming commentary YouTube scene by storm. Here he is. Glasses and tail and all. Um, steal my video, we'll address that, it's fair use, it, I mean, YouTube, it's a legal thing, it's tough. Uh, and bug me about a dumb debate, I will do it when I want to. Okay, listen, princess, you're the one who brought it, well, never mind, we'll get that to that later. Um, I will do it when I want to, and you will shut the fuck up, okay, don't really care about this video, I can be do better things with time, but yeah, you, uh, yeah, you get the point. Smiley face. All right, so now you're aware of what we're about to get into here. This video was made addressing me, because I'm a big, nasty, menial hater. So, um, all right, here we go. You know, my time in the YouTube community has been more downs than up. I can't imagine why. Last year, it was beef with Black Bond and Hardy. Last year, when everyone jumped on the I hate Titanfall bandwagon. Oh no, not your namesake and made video after video to this year. Having beef with my former boys to be exposing dumbasses like fucking Wrath uh, 93, a.k.a. Hey, AKA Mr. Xbox Strong. Uh, okay, I'm going to do uh, a public service and interrupt you from speaking. Don't you love it when people make videos and the gameplay music in the background is like rock music and there's fucking shit going down and, you know, it's, it's like really loud and distracting. I hate that. I just thought I'd bring that up. A.K.A. Mr. Leon Jones, dumbasses like Eddie Bear, the pedophile. Ugh. To when I chose gaming and stopped being a, a so-called fangirl, as you called me, to now the Xbox community hating me. Well, I mean, you bring this on yourself, really. I don't know who all these people are, all right? It's, there's too many little nobodies out there for me to keep track of. But when you associate with people like Crap Gamer and Mooch and Iron Wolf and all that, I mean, you know, you're... What do you expect is going to happen? But the one thing that doesn't change on YouTube is the PC community's hate for me. And for no reason. Yeah, no reason. I can't think of any reason why anybody would go after the things you say, or call you out for stuff, or criticize you in any capacity. I can't think of anything. They just all came at you for absolutely no reason at all. Just randomly, out of the blue, they all got together and decided we're going to go after this little nobody YouTuber and just... I just dislike her videos, I guess. And this goes back to when I first started YouTube, okay? Back when I used the name the Titanfall Siren 2K15. When I was around people like Jay Centuries, uh, Thanos. Oh, I don't know any of these people who gives a shit. Ghost, Brimstone, uh, Levon Kaysen, they So getting that out of the way, now let's talk about these PC haters. Because one in particular named Rags... That's me, yay. ...just can't get enough of me. I wonder why. Is it the beauty? Well, show me your face and we'll make a decision. I don't know. The intelligence? I don't know. There's literally been nothing that you've done that gives me the impression you have any level of intellect. I mean, you make Punky J look like a Harvard graduate. A good gamer? I don't know. Well, knowing whether or not you were a good gamer would require me to watch your content, which is just, that just doesn't sound very appealing at all. First off, no one blocked you in my live streams. All right, well, when I went to your live stream, 
where you were talking about me and I was posting things, nobody was responding, which was weird. So I went to an incognito tab and sure enough, nothing I was posting would show up. So maybe my computer was broken. And it's funny you said I wasn't on YouTube for 10 days. It, it might have been nine days. I just picked a number. 10 sounded about right. Then how the hell would you know about my live streams? Oh boy. Those weren't done even 10 days ago. Mistake number one, bitch. Well, I brought my phone. This phone allows me to communicate with people all over the world, provided they also have some sort of a phone. Now, as long as I have a service on my phone, all right, which I had pretty much all the time, which kind of shocked me, even without Wi-Fi, I am able to, gosh, let me list the things, access email accounts, communicate with people using social media, such as Twitter, because, you know, on YouTube, I have 83,000 fucking subscribers. I sincerely hope this clarifies things for you. So, secondly, I don't care who knows my name. Good for you. Most of my subs and followers know my name is Nancy Ann O'Neill. Good for them. My phone number is a different story. I don't want you or any of your weirdo fanboys calling me. Well, I wouldn't want them to call you either. That sounds like it would be a horrible experience, first off. Maybe that's why I blocked it out, so that nobody would get your personal information. And that was the point. But since you like lying, it's fitting that you would lie about something so dumb. Well, I, I don't re recall lying about anything, and it's bad that... I mean, I'm. you can't win with these people, can you? I mean, I do the courteous thing of not revealing the personal information that you sent me. You, you sent me, right? Your name, where you live, your phone number, all that stuff. But, I mean, I'm still getting hate for it. You just can't, you can't win with these people, can you? And to call me mad or angry? Nope. Wrong again. Mistake number three. Nobody believes that. Nobody believes that. And I know you don't either, do you? Hey, what's up? Hey, so were you talking about that Rags video? The guy who was, uh, does a bunch of those response videos? When you were talking about the people using your videos? Yeah. Okay, well, just so you know, that is actually under fair use. But yeah, I think it's bullshit though. Uh, well, okay, I'll be back. I'm on the phone, but I got a question. Okay. Is fair use them giving my personal information out that you have to give to YouTube that he blocked out? No, they, that, that, that's, that's illegal. And they did. I forgot to mention okay, that before. Well, that, that they gave out my personal information to him. So now well, I can I get stalked he... on one of my phones because of him. Are you kidding? No. People that, that, they, that fucked up in the head? Yeah. So I, I personally may just go after YouTube because that's illegal. Wow. That's You're not going to give out my personal information. You know, if you want to deny that. But what I don't think is right is these people can stalk the hell out of me, make nasty videos about me, but they have a right to use my stuff. That is kind of stupid. Whenever they want. About it. Yeah. And this guy is stalking me. I have proof. I sent that to them too. All the shit that he said, you know, trying to degrade me, talking nasty about me, calling me names and doing all this other shit. But yet he's allowed to take my stuff, right? And you're going to give him my personal information. But listen, I'll be back. I got to finish this phone call. I'll be back on in a few minutes talking. Okay, guys? Just give me a couple minutes. Oh, that was painful to listen to. So painful, in fact, that I wanted to interject through the entire thing, so it's time for a mini-criticism! Okay, well, just so you know, that is actually under fair use, but yeah, I think it's bullshit, though. No, it's not. Uh, well, okay, I'll be back. I'm on the phone, but I got a question. I have an answer. Is fair use them giving my personal information out that you have to give to YouTube? No, that's a different matter. That he blocked out? No, they, that, that, that's, that's illegal. No, it's not, and you're an idiot for thinking that. And they did. Of course they did. You filed a legal dispute against me, and I have to know contact information for the person attacking me legally. I forgot to mention okay, that before. Well that he they gave out my personal information to him. No, you gave the personal information to them and you knew that was going to be sent to me. If you didn't read the form, that's your fault. You cannot remain anonymous after you make a legal attack against somebody. 
So now I, I can get stalked on one of my phones. Technically possible, but extremely unlikely. Because of him. No, because I decided not to release your personal information because I'm just that great of a guy. Are you kidding? She's not. No. Told you. No, it's not. You just don't know anything about anything. If you're going to start a real actual legal proceeding against somebody, you have to give them contact information so they can contact you if they necessary. Yeah. No. So I, I personally may just go after YouTube. Better call Saul. Because that's illegal. No, it isn't. You're just buttered and salty because you tried to file a legal proceeding against me and you got squashed. You abused copyright and you got called out for it. You're not going to give out my personal information. They are, yes. To me, yes. You know, if you want to deny that... Nobody's denying anything. What I don't think is right is these people can stalk the hell out of me. Make Why in God's name do you think anybody would want to stalk you of all people? Nasty videos about me. That's because you're just generally a very nasty, awful person. But they have a right to use my stuff. Notwithstanding the provisions of the sections 106 and 106A, the fair use of a copyrighted work for purposes such as criticism, comment, review, and news reporting is not an infringement of copyright. Abusing copyright takedown methods is against YouTube policy and could result in your account being terminated in its form of perjury. It is also very important to note that you notice that there is a cognitive dissonance in you saying that when you're playing a video game that you did not create and you're using it and uploading it to your channel in the form of a live stream. You do not seem to understand that the thing that I'm using is the exact thing that you're using right now to make your channel grow. That is kind of stupid. Whenever they want. Yeah. It's not dumb. Neither of you know anything about anything. And this guy is stalking me. I have proof. I sent that to them too. I'm not stalking you. I just have a group of 80,000 people who always tell me whenever you do stupid shit. All the shit that he said, you know, trying to degrade me, talking nasty about me, calling me names, and doing all this other shit. Sugar Plum, I guarantee goddamn to you, you don't want me to bring up all the nasty, horrible, awful things that you said because you literally threatened to punch me in the face if we met. But yet he's allowed to take my stuff, right? Yes, that is absolutely correct. Now learn the laws, then run your mouth. And you're going to give him my personal information. You didn't read the form. Also, you cannot attack somebody legally and retain your anonymity. Ooh, that was fun. I need a breather. Oh, I feel better. Now, let's move along. That was just one example right there of how you let your emotions get in the way of your better judgment if you ever had any better judgment to begin with. And it makes you very, very, very angry because after you do very silly things, you're just smart enough to realize that you did something very, very stupid, but instead of blaming yourself, you want to attack other people for it. You want to blame YouTube that you didn't read a forum. You want to blame YouTube you don't understand copyright. You want to blame YouTube that you don't get fair use. You want to call me a sexist, and you want to say uh, things like, oh, I, want, I would punch you if I actually saw you. No, 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 that's not very ladylike behavior at all. You do get angry. Like, really, really angry. And it's really obvious. This video is just a continuation of that anger. You're like Next Gen 720, you're not substantive, you're just going to throw out insults. I don't like when dumbasses twist my words or misunderstand what I'm talking about. I assume you mean this video right here, the one with 25,000 views that calls you out. I can understand how you might not appreciate this kind of attention being given to you, but you did say something incredibly stupid, something that I believe is very anti-gamer, and something that displays a very, very um, awful aspect of the communities that you tend to associate yourself with. 25,000 people watched this video. No one seemed to say, to my knowledge, that I was taking what you said out of context or misunderstanding or misrepresenting what you say. I can't even misrepresent what you say because I used your video, therefore your own words and your own context, one of the reasons I use the format and why a lot of other people use that format. And since I linked them to your video for the verification purposes, they would have been able to tell if I was taking you out of context or if I was misunderstanding what you were saying then make videos about it without knowing what the fuck they're talking about. Then feel free to tell me where I was wrong, because, I don't know, maybe if 25,000 people didn't find it, maybe you will. Or maybe you'll try to twist the words somehow into, I don't know. I don't trust you. Your integrity means just fuck all to me. And you pretty much did that because you, you're another PC YouTube asshole well, the kind that does sensical commentary on nonsensical people such as yourself, you're anti-gamer, you're anti-consumer, you're like JTEC, just on a different level. 
You're just upset that I signal boosted your bullshit. You're upset because, probably for the first time ever, someone who actually has a popular YouTube channel that people like to watch decided that he didn't really like some of the things that you said and he was going to show the world how much he didn't like them and tell them why he didn't like them. Your response was to instead debate to file false copyright strikes and throw tantrums in live streams. And you all have the same formula. Call people console peasants, use their material. Under fair use, yes. But stream P screen me PC master race because none of us care for the PC. I don't know, some of you guys make a lot of videos relating to the PC, and then when we address you for it, you say, Oh, this isn't about the PC. Oh, we don't care about the PC. Oh, wh what are you doing in this conversation? I just made I just made a video about the PC. That doesn't mean I care about the PC. But the video I did on you didn't really have anything to do with console versus PC that much. It was the thing you said that were anti-consumer that I had an issue with, and it was just full of ridiculous things. And I addressed those things. Are we supposed to care about the PC, like I said? If you wish, but at this point I understand that I'm doing this for the people viewing the video and the people who subscribe and influencing them far more than I know I'll influence the people who made the videos. Your mind is already made up, and I don't know if I want you as part of my community, quite frankly. No. I should have held don't. And it's not like I hate PC gaming, but facts are facts. We wouldn't know shit about it if the League of Legends or World of Warcraft didn't exist. Remember how I said you weren't intelligent at all? When you say things like this, it just proves the point. You are attributing the noteworthiness of the PC to two games. Yes, popular games, obviously, but two games. Do you know how ridiculous that sounds? Do you not know anything about any- of course you don't know anything about anything. Why, why do I even bother? I mean, that's like me saying you wouldn't know about Xbox if it wasn't for Halo. See, it, it's a dumb thing to say. And finally, shouldn't you be dressing, or, or, or ra rather I should say go to therapy about your obsession with Pyro, or JTEC TV as you know him? Nope. You're up his fucking ass! Nope. To the point that you, you keep up with his, keep track of his fucking comments? Me? <laughs> no, no, no. No, no, I was blocked long like, he blocks everybody, nobody keeps up with his comments but him, it's just not possible. JTEC TV is the ultimate authoritarian Gestapo secret police of YouTube comments. I've never seen anybody moderate. I mean, JTEC TV makes Steve Shives look like an amateur. And make multiple videos about him? Ooh, that sounds fishy. I don't know what's fishy about that. Unless, of course, you're referring to the fact that implies my homosexuality, and I know in the circles that you run in how much you guys are homophobic, so... Hmm. Wonder what that's about. Is about me using another YouTuber as nothing more than a tool for my own channel growth, just like I'm using you. Enjoy that, by the way. It'll probably be, sadly, the thing that you're most known for, just being another tool for Rags to use to grow his own channel. To keep it funky, you're no different than the rest of those PC weirdos that talk about, you know, how, uh, how, you know, about how that good their rig is, or, or anything like that. You're not playing any games. Oh, well, I mean, clearly I am, as my Steam profile shows. I play games all the time. It's my favorite pastime. Or maybe you're the type that idolizes jackasses like Tap ha Hats and Champagne. I don't, I don't idolize him, but he's a good content creator. He's way more intelligent than you are. He has a much bigger channel that's actually successful. Oh, or maybe you literally want to have champagne and a romantic date with him as well. No, he's a married man, and I'm not a homewrecker. And he has cats. Sounds up your alley. Yeah. Ha ha ha, Rags is a homo. Ha ha ha, aren't I clever? But that's not my problem. Go do you, okay? And that concludes my video. Sweet Jesus, the light at the end of the tunnel. To be honest... You lack the capacity, but go on. PC gamers don't upload actual gameplay. Dear Lord, you're a special kind of stupid. I mean, Total Biscuit and Scene Enters instantly come to mind, and there are far many other- It's just- I don't know, I'm not even gonna try just justify- It's self-evident that what you said is ridiculously stupid. So we can just label them channels as, uh, let's say, let's say, uh, hate channels, or opinion channels, uh, opinions from people that aren't gamers? Again, this shows how much of a fool you are. You're trying to just dismiss an entire segment of the gaming population in a segment of YouTubers by just saying, Oh, well, they aren't really gamers. No true Scotsman, blah, blah, blah. 
And besides, even if we weren't gamers, even if we never touched the game in our lives, how would that invalidate really anything that we say? Um, they have, they have more time to be jealous. Oh, you mean envy. You don't mean jealousy, you mean envy. Dad, you shouldn't be jealous of our poo. Remember, it's all about the music. I'm not jealous. I'm envious. Jealousy is when you're worried someone will take what you have. Envy is wanting what someone else has. What I feel is envy. Huh. Wow, he's right. Shit, you even made a fucking video about Next Gen 720! Well, yeah, that's because Next Gen 720 is a fucking moron. He is vile, despicable, offensive, vacuous, unwittingly a detriment to his own community, as are you. He's just a stepping stone, a tool that I use just like you, just like JTEC, just like Mooch, just like all the others. You're nothing more than a tool for me to use to grow my own channel and show you just how much better I am than all of you. Let there be no mistake at all. I think that I am a better person than all of you on a moral and intellectual level. That's why as your channel stagnate or show pathetically slow growth, mine excels. Boy, you like next gen too? You're making a video on me. Do you like me? Boy, you like those boys. Wait, wait, wait. Did you just say, oh, you like those boys? And then you tried to, like, edit it out or cut it out, which is why your voice just stopped in the middle of it? Yeah. I fuck dudes. I get fucked by dudes. And it's great. <sighs> and now that I know you're just a person who comments about gaming, just a person who comments about gaming. Okay, yeah, I'm just a person who comments about gaming. 83,000 subscribers compared to your... Oh, that's right, you don't show it. I'm gonna wager you have, what, maybe at maximum 1,000? Maybe? Total guess. Your view counts are low. Your dislike ratios are awful. You attack people instead of attacking ideas. Rather than actually gaming, you can be off now, peasant. Go away. I have a better idea. I'll stick around, and I'll have 83,000 people to update me on the stupid shenanigans that you may do in the future. And now you're going to have to live with the idea of this ghoulish specter rags looming over your channel, waiting to jump on anything stupid that you say. And I'll set up my stream at my time. I don't think you'll ever do a live stream with me, because it's not even going to be a, a debate at this point. It's just going to be you self-mocking yourself for however long you can stand to do it. And you tweeted me that you were setting it up. I was ready. I had a soda. I was good to go. And instead, you went to stream Call of Duty and talk shit about me. Instead of live streaming with me, which is what you said you do. I think you're just a coward. I don't think you'll actually do it. I don't think you've got the gumption. You act all tough in the comments section, but you're not going to follow through with anything. At my comfort. You can stop begging me on Twitter like a peasant. Oh dear, you're doing the JTEC thing. That's pretty bad when you have to emulate him. I mean, you said you would love to do it, and here I am. I'm ready to do it. Basically at any time. I'm trying to get you to put your money where your mouth is here. That you are. And I'm probably not a peasant. Again, we use that as a joke, but I think you're trying to mean it in a derogatory sense. Statistically, in the United States, I probably make more money than you. So off with you. Leave the princess alone. Have that debate you said you'd love to have, and I might consider it. Goodbye, peasant. Remember, for every action, there's an equal and opposite reaction.